Sherman and Tingle in the morning. Do you many malls by your house, Tingle? Uh, there's the Fox Valley Mall. That's the closest one to me. Or Louis Joliet. How the- a, I'm kind of like in between both. How are those doing? Wow, man. I haven't been. The only time I go to a mall is when I lose my sunglasses. So I have to go back to Sunglass Hut and buy a new pair because <laughs> I lose them once a quarter. I don't know what it is. Sunglass Huts, they, they put something in their glasses that make you lose them. I lose them all the time. I agree completely. That's it. And I, you can always count and go to a mall and see about six sunglass huts inside. I went to a drive event and my glasses disappeared. I'm like, I was in yeah. a liquor store. I, I was in a, a place that was like 10 by 12. How could I lose the glasses in a store that was 10 by 12? Yeah, we saw a story that said uh, it was about uh, malls and how people, you know, just like I did in that news story a while ago, about people want to go back to simpler times and people miss the old mall days. And I had so many great memories of the mall. I was actually scared. I remember as a kid walking through a mall because the big hangout was the arcade. And I remember being with my parents when I was a little kid and looking across, you know, it was on, it was on the second level, and looking across and seeing all the, the, the high school kids hanging out at the arcade. And they were like, yeah, back in my day, they had the, the leather jackets with the spikes on them and mohawks. And I thought it was so they look like scary. they're the warriors. Yeah. Warriors. Oh, I remember thinking, being so intimidated, like, those people are so scary. And it was like a big deal. And then as you got older, you just realized that, you know. They were just chumps in the mall. <laughs> that's it. They were just chumps. That's all they yeah, were in the mall. Couple of chumps in the mall, man. Yeah. I mean, the ball, the mall that's by my house, you would think that uh, they had a hand in Chernobyl. They're, the parking lots are empty. There's hardly anything there anymore. I mean, that's where I, you went to find yeah. ladies back in the day. I mean, you went there and it was so fun. You see, a, you were with a pack of guys and you see a pack of girls and you kind of mowed your way to them. It was fun. That was great. And going in the food court, sitting there crushing some great steak company. The Ooh, great steak company. The great steak did they, remember that? Did they live on? Or do they exist anywhere else now that most of the malls? That's they've... a good question. I, I haven't been to a food court in ages, but I'm sure there's something similar to that. But you can always count on a great, terrible Asian place, which is fantastic. That's where yeah. Panda Express started. I remember going to Panda Express all the time. Yeah, those and then it turned into a chain. The, well, you have that. You also have uh, an Asian massage that they. I, I went to one time. I go to those all the time. Are you okay? Then you're a tougher guy than I am because I went one time. They put me in some kind of uh, pretzel that they 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 would do in blood sport. I know exactly I, what you're I, talking about. I think they were waiting for me to say mate. I've had one horrible experience at one of those places where it was a guy and he was. Doing something to my legs. I left and I had bruises the next day all over my legs. It's like he did it on purpose. Yeah. Because I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I go with my kids. You know, they take forever in their stores. So I said, I'll just see you guys later. And I just went to a massage place and man, I paid the price. But sometimes it's been great. I should have known better. You know, while I was waiting for the massage, there's a his guy named Chong Lee. He, he just said to me, You are next. And I, I went up and then he just uh, he started put, beating you down. He put me in didn't speak a word of English. Com- complete pain. <laughs> the other guy that said he was he was really into the United States. Okay, USA. It was just an amazing place. But I I remember the, you know there was there wasn't that many malls where I grew up. I grew up right on the border of Wisconsin and Illinois. Unlike Toma, like Tingle always likes to try to say. And there was we only had the dirt mall. That was all. And I mean it was a dirt mall when it was brand new. This mall was called Factory Outlet. You know a place like Factory Outlet is awesome. They had four phases. It was, there was like one, which was red. Two was yellow. Three was like purple. And then four was blue. When did you go? How old were you when you used to free my mom, place? My mom would take me and we'd go there. They had, I remember, a sock store. No lie. They just sold socks. They had a, a hot commodity. They had a CD store. Uh, no name. There wasn't even a name on the door. It's just like CDs. It's like you can always count on CDs, posters. Yeah, remember that. And then they had all like these uh, these takeoff uh, Bulls gear. Like you could go there and buy Michael Jordan T-shirts. I remember I spent a grip load when I was probably twelve. And a grip load when you're twelve is thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. I had a sweatshirt. And it, you know that it was all stuff that was probably from somewhere else. It wasn't even legit. It was this the dirt mall. In a mall today, I, the last time I went, but I'm sure they're still prominent. You can always count on one, a sunglass hut. Two, a journeys. <laughs> journeys is always journeys. there. I forgot about or, journeys. That's right. Or lids. Those places are always there. In every mall, they survive. They do it. Gurney Mills still kicks. They they're, they're still going. They haven't lost a lot of their stores, you know. But you know what? I know why that is. That is because solely 
for the Navy base. Anytime you go to Gurney Mills, there's a there's a ton of sailors that go in there because they're away from home. They've got to do something, so then they go to that mall. So thank you, the United States Navy, for keeping Gurney Mills alive. When I was a uh, kid, just, a, you know, like a I don't know, probably seven years old, six years old, my mom took me into a store, and I disappeared. And she panicked. They called cops, mall security. Thought she lost me. She's freaking out, panicking. And my devilish rear end was hiding inside one of those round clothing racks. You know, I used to go inside and just hide under there because it was like a tent for me. And, and I didn't and I didn't come out there calling my name and I wouldn't come out, my mom said. Because <laughs> you she were was panicking and I was just hiding as a kid. You're waiting longer and longer because you know that you're going to get in trouble. You're like, well, I, I just... I just thought it was cool. I remember my mom, she was panicking and she, uh, it was funny. She told me later that she was crying and they were walking to them. They walked the whole mall. They're checking every store. They couldn't find me. I stayed in there that long and didn't come out. Why are we so stupid when we we're kids? I did the same thing to my grandma. We, we, we ran away from my grandma and she thought she had lost us. Can you imagine now being a grandmother and she's calling her names and we're laughing? And she thinks that we're stolen. Like, what jerks we were. Yeah. Complete jerks. Good times. I want malls to come back, don't you? Well, maybe they'll come back. We just need more Navy. We put a Navy base around every single mall will be totally good. And then go... Let's go check in for babes. What do you say? (laughs) Yeah. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive. Chicago's classic rock.